was actually the huge opportunity on HBO that kind of led uh, up till me being headhunted to fight uh, on a huge card in Moscow. It was the undercard for um, it was the final for the for the uh, World Boxing Super Series. Super Series, yes, with uh, Usyk and Gaziev, and it was a big show. It had. It was broadcasted uh, in many countries, and it was um, uh, and it was Russia. So <laughs> that was quite an experience. We were very well received. So I had this tremendous, fantastic, amazing people in Kiev helping me with the camp, setting up everything, and then I have got so well received in Russia uh, with everything during uh, the, the fight. So all in all, it made this an experience for life but like I say um, we are very privileged because sports has uh, a very special place in society uh, it's kind of be above politics borders everything and that is the one thing that I think I don't know about any other thing that combines people the way sport does well it's very hard to explain you know this is a long long journey and to be recognized in this way it is it is kind of a, as a female fighter, you always have this, um, um, this small knot in your, in your stomach because there's always something, um, there's always big challenges there. And, and, and this to be recognized this way, it was, just, um, it was just a huge relief because I know it's not only for me, I know now a lot of girls and women behind me will get this recognition also. It's the result of the women boxing, the way it has been, and also the beginning of hopefully something that I think and, and I believe is a new area, era for women's boxing. We have a lot of opportunities. We can go anywhere we want, and we can now go to uh, the TV uh, station channels and say, you know what, look at this. We have potential huge fights, you know, and you need to put this on. And this is fights that, will, that, that people want to see, who, who, who really wants to capture the audience. And, and we have so many different ways to go now. And this situation is, um, it's, it's pretty mind blowing. It's pretty mind blowing. It's a lot to take in. And um, I have to say, I, I don't even know if I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I don't have so many years left. And the situation where I'm not even sure if I'm, will be able to fight all the girls I want to fight. Right. That, that is absolutely mind-blowing. I've never been in this position before. Now uh -huh. every girl is coming and they are, they are, I feel, I feel it, you know, I feel they are coming and they are hungry and they want everything and they are, they are prepared. They are uh, ready. They are in top physical shape. Um, this is world-class fighters and I, I want to have the whole experience. I want the best girls, but I want to have everything around to be um, big. I like big. <laughs> <laughs> I want to have a fight that can go global. I want to make the first female fight that go, goes global, which will be sent live in America, in Europe, in Russia, and in Latin America. And I believe 100% I can do this. The, the biggest fight, it could be Clarissa Shields, it could be Katie Taylor, Amanda Serrano, it could be a rematch with Kelly Rice, it could be uh, Leila McCarter, it could be Cyborg. Oh, yeah. This is, um, the list is endless with big fights. Can you imagine? This is like, this has never happened in female boxing before, no. ever. I believe I could do this with some particular female fighters also. Mm -hmm. Not many, but some, but with Cyber, it would be a done deal. It's like Mayweather McGregor. Mayweather, uh -huh. no. Yeah, it would be huge. We are talking with them all the time, okay. in co contact with them all the time, but she has two, and she's very interested. She came to my fight yes, she did. with the belt, <laughs> and the, yeah, you saw that. <laughs> so they uh, really like the idea. We need to put, some, to put together a business case, of course, to make her uh, still uh, interested and I believe we can do that. I have had some project in Norway with uh, fighters, but it's 
it's difficult, it's hard because boxing takes basically takes 24 hours, seven days a week right now. And I'm traveling, you know, I'm one day I'm in Norway, next in Russia, and then I'm in back here in LA and and that's what's needed to be done. But unfortunately, of course, that, that excludes um, other stuff I would love to do, like mentoring other girls. Yeah, I was, um, yeah, I was off balance, yes. Um, <laughs> I call it off balance. I love it. Us women call it off balance. <laughs> Uh, well, you know, I actually chose Kelly Rice because we had hunted her to this fight. I was told, do not take her because she's tough. And I said, okay, we need an American, we need a good girl, we need a tough girl. We need someone who is worthy to make this um, a great fight, which I know will deliver. Because I have seen her against um, uh, Christina Hammer. Mm -hmm. I was um, in Germany then watching. I knew she would deliver. And I knew how important it was that the first fight on HBO was had a very high um, uh, sense of quality. Mm -hmm. It was a tough fight. It was. And that was exactly what uh, needed to be done. Um, I think it would be horrid. I think it would be a catastrophe if I would get a girl in just who I could knock down to mm -hmm. look good. I think that would pretty much destroy any chance of women boxing to come back on HBO for a long, long time. Mm -hmm. Everything around the HBO fight was extremely intense. It was a lot of work and the, the work that was put down to get this female fight on HBO, you know, by, by Tom and by the whole team, that was tremendous. It was exhausting. It was 24 hours. It, it was it was almost as hard as the fight inside the ring. That was, it was just the the hour, the weeks that led up to that fight was um, the most intense weeks I ever experienced. The issues are, of course, how to be promoted um, and what the sanctioning bodies can do to help uh, the the promoter uh, to build up female, more female fights and. And names and to help uh, um, getting girls getting getting paid uh, better um, but we have to also know that there is a there is something that also needs to be addressed and that is the doping situation mm -hmm. and that is not just for female fighters that is I'm saying that this because this is also very important for female fighters <laughs> And that is a very important topic I really hope will come up. Well, it is um, uh, education. Education is uh, number one. The trainers need to be education, educated, the, the, the team, the people around, and also the fighters themselves need to take uh, responsibility. Mm -hmm. But education, 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 it is. Uh, for me, it's, that's not a big deal, a big case. But what I do believe is that two minutes is one of the reasons that women boxing has survived. Three minutes round, it's just... Um, you, you need more time to train, to recover, to sleep, to eat. You need, need a big, bigger team. And we have to face it, most of girls don't have this uh, at all. Because of the money. We can't afford it. So two minutes rounds is actually what's um, carrying the sport right now.